So a lot of y'all have been asking me how I go ahead and execute my Series S trades. Well, the first step, you're gonna have to get yourself a Series S. So I hop on Facebook Marketplace frequently, consistently, lots of times in the day. Now, I always try to look out for one that's less than 200 bucks. And luckily enough, one just popped up for 100 k So let's go ahead and scoop it up and I'll meet you back home. Hey, what's up? Good, you wanna count that out? Just to make sure it's all there. Awesome. Thank you again. Really appreciate it. So we finally got the Series S. It's sitting right here. It's cleaned, it's tested. The cords are folded nice and neatly. There's an odor. I put a couple dryer sheets around the unit to help it smell a little bit better. Next, after snapping a few quality photos, I pop an ad up on Facebook Marketplace with a good description involved. Hey, I'm looking to trade my Xbox Series S for old video games. If you got any, hit me up. Hit publish and once the post is live, well, you wait. High as the heavens, the value is within me. My collection for the Wii has an inner drive. An offer has been accepted. Silent, no more. Hey, how's it going? Good. There it all is. In these boxes here? Yep. Awesome. Good to go? Good to go here. Nice, yeah, and you could always hit me up if you have any issues. You know what I'm saying? Thank you again for doing this. No, I appreciate getting a bunch of good inventory. This is awesome. Okay, thank you again. Thank you so much, Appreciate it. The trade game has lifted my heart to the heads above, and you know how much they charged me? 150 smackers! That's how much I paid for the Series S that captured all of these bad boy beauties. We got Wii, GameCube, PS2, and 360. Right off the bat, a solid little Wii lot. The House of the Dead is in there. Transformers. Mario Party 8. And Super Smash Bros. But what really got me jumping, jumping jacks in Jumanji Land was Shattered Memories. The Silent Hill Hair of the Century. If you didn't know, this game easily pushes 100 bucks, so it's definitely one of the most valuable valuable in my personal stash. And as with most bangers, you can't have it good without a minty disc. Looks like my friend paid only $17.99 for it. Bang, baby. As you all know, I collect for the Nintendo Wii, so when he shot me these photos and I saw this bad boy in there, I shattered my head. Super exciting to get. I've been looking for this one for a while. Along with the games, we got the Wii console itself. Holy GameCube compatible. Went ahead and tested this baby out and she works like a charm. One platinum Nintendo GameCube and when I popped it open. Yes. This only Super Mario Sunshine. Oh. Oh. Dang, man, that's bad. That's disgusting. But a bunch more games were included, including three of the Harry Potter games. Now, unfortunately, these ones aren't worth too much cash. The one you're gonna be on the lookout for is the Sorceress Stove. That baby pushes 75 cash. Nevertheless, we got Need for Speed, Spider-Man. three hitters, including Super Monkey Ball 2, The Hop, and Animal Crossing, fully complete. No memory card, unfortunately, but nevertheless, that's a sick. Six feet deep in the profit no, zone. Saturdays on YouTube. Six feet. <laughs> this is fun. Six feet. 
six feet deep in the profit zone and we're still going. An original NES system loaded up with no games, unfortunately. I keep coming across these bad boys. They keep showing up on my door. I'm glad to give them a home and I'm also glad to give this 360 collection a home. Although there's nothing crazy in here, the best in the lot being the Godfather game. Let me know if you played this one right here. It's always been on my checklist. Xbox 360 console. Guys, I popped this bad boy on and she didn't work. Red ring of death. Nevertheless, three spare Xbox 360 controllers, you can always use them. Now Silent Hill may be a shatterer and Animal Crossing might have me hopping. But the PS2? Stone Myself! God of War, Rise to Honor, the Ultimate Ninja 2 and 3, Mortal Kombat, Shaolin Monks, In the Kamehameha, Budokai Tenkaichi 3. And the this is a grail on the PS2. Unfortunately, I cracked her open and there was no manual. If you have one at home, let me know I need it. But thank the stars above, the disc is looking pretty good. I've also heard that this Budokai Tenkaichi is the best of the Dragon Ball Zs. Nevertheless, it's a showcaser that illustrates the power of this. Series S Hey. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Sweet. Thank yeah, you again. Yeah, thank you. So we just scooped up a deal for 250 bucks. You tell me if this is worth it. A big old chunker stash of gamers right here. Now I took a look at all the games. We've got a couple Call of Duties in there. Ark, which actually looks like a sick game. Let me know if you played it. I want to know if I should too. Horizon Zero Dawn. And this actually surprised me. Elden Ring. Which pre-owned on eBay goes for $30 cash. So that's sick. Got the PS4. Pop this baby on right here. It's a one terabyte. And it actually works flawlessly with the controller. A little taken out of the toggle stick. The thing I was most excited about was the Nintendo Switch Lite. Which upon closer examination oh. represented a bit of a European feel. Look at the charger. What am I supposed to do with this? Monster Hunter Rise with the baby rating. Crack her open and we got Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And if you look closely it says E-U-R my guy. What? Does it affect the value American wise? I don't know. But I didn't know that when walking into it. I'm still happy because we got the Palkion Dialga Edition Switch Lite. In actually mint condition if you take a closer look. Now I've always liked the dark look of this baby right here and guess what? She turns on and she works great. Couple free games on here. I'm currently playing the cooking simulator it came with. Yeah. Well for 250 bucks I'd say it's still worth it. So a European deal gone awry, I don't know. Comment down below, let me know. Let's head to the next hunt. Quick $50 scoop up for the resale business and maybe a couple Wii games I don't have yet in my collection. Let's get it. Hey. How's it going? Good. For the Wii. Right yes. here. Sweet. Yeah, rubber things are a little dirty, but it always. the bread and butter. You hop on Facebook Marketplace, you scoop something up for 50 bucks, you make 50 bucks. Got the Wii console, hopefully it works. He says it does. GameCube compatible, that's definitely a plus. One, two, three, four controllers on top. And a good variety of games, nothing too crazy in here. Big point out here is Mario Party 8. Fitted up with a black case, so I'm guessing that's a reproduction. Cracker open, she's fully complete and in beautiful condition. And lastly, you can't go wrong with a Wii Sports nice. Resort. Pair this bad boy up with the Wii console itself you're looking at a solid 50 plus dollar profit baby <laughs> Now that's bread and butter, and I like a good appetizer, but you know what I'm in the mood for? One of them there for course meals. So let's keep hunting. Trinitron! Insane good box. We just got an offer on the Trinitron, and I'm not really sure if it's good or not, because I don't know modern Pokemon cards. But he reached out on this Sony Trinitron Facebook Marketplace trade post. Now this monster is heavy right here. It's a whopping 36 plus inches. So I'm hoping my guy brought a friend so I don't have to snap my back bringing it down the stairs. Just like that, she's gone again.
But this time we got some Pokemon cards and I need your help. Here's the stack the brother gave me. So the only ones I'm able to pick up right here are the right here. Rudolph, this is a sick looking card. Gotta appreciate the artwork on these ones. Now I paid a total of zero dollars for that Trinitron TV. Picked it up free from the neighborhood. <laughs> we still got another Trinitron up in this room right here. The 36 inch. I'm hoping it goes well. Oh, yes, brothers. brothers. Let me explain. So I'm perusing Marketplace and a garage sale post pops up. So you know I do my thing. Hey, y'all got any video games? She doesn't say a thing. In fact, all she does is toss me one photo and one. Now I'll tell you this, you're going to want to stay tuned to find out what it is. Hi, what's up? Yeah, my name's Cody. I'm here for the, the big GameCube bundle. Yes, I'm yeah. yeah, yeah, some really solid games in this bundle here. Yeah. I was like, I gotta get this, it's really cool. <laughs> Cash is right there, you can count that out. I'll put this in my car, I'll come back up, okay. peruse. How much you ask on this? Uh, 20 bucks. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Secure the GameCube lot, 130 bucks. Beautiful day, beautiful scoop. Hey! Whoa, hey! That's my car, dude! What are you doing? Hey! hey. Sorry, brother, I need a more than you. Woo! Let's go, baby! No! Oh. Get back here! Yes. Lose you lose, you dunkaroo! Don't worry about him, friends. We're all good. Xbox Series S trades with game systems up the wazoo. Yeah. Real up talking Pokemon N64, Game Boy, you name it. He'll be fine. Don't worry about him. Let's get the bang, baby. Let's go. Good. That drive wasn't too bad. Yeah, if you don't mind, just come on. Yeah, of course. This is the stuff here? Yeah, so I don't know I don't know if these are any good to you. They're just games, but you know, for the drive up here, they're all yours. I appreciate that, thank you. The N64 games, obviously I haven't played them in about eight years. Luckily, yeah, these ones are definitely authentic. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've made some good effort to try and check them all. And yeah. The, when I played through them, made sure they seemed good. Um, and yep. then I have all my other stuff, if you're yeah. interested. And you just didn't know what price you wanted to put onto this Wii right here. Yeah. I can give you 50 for the Wii bundle. Sure, yeah. Okay, all right, thank you again. with yet again another series S trade that's sitting next to the definition of bonkers. Three handheld hits, one Arctic white GBA with the back battery cover intact, a Glacier Blue Game Boy Advance, no battery cover unfortunately, still a $50 bill, and one Game Boy Advance SP with a little bit of a poopy shell, but she's silver and makes that beautiful sound we always know. Paired with the handhelds is four amazing games. Pokemon Blue for the Game Boy, which runs at about 50 bucks. We got Pokemon Sapphire version. Fire Red, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure this one is the most expensive. And Leaf Green. Guys, we got all three of them this time around. Yeah. But are they genuine? Let's go ahead and run through the three steps of authentication. First up, we got to look for that indented number on each one of them. We got 22 sitting there. Fire Red is difficult to see but I think we got a little number right there. Leaf Green's got hers. Next up are the letters flush. Yes, they all are. Finally, do they have the signature ship? And yes, they all do. So we got lucky on that one. Now I paid $150 cash for that series. And the three GBA games pays for the lot itself. So the rest of what you'll see is gravy, baby. Now the wheel lot is not included in the trade. I actually gave him 50 bucks for this bad boy bundle right here. Three controllers in the GameCube compatible Wii console itself in absolutely beautiful condition. These babies are usually destroyed. This one looks fantastic. Yeah. Gonna be selling that baby paired up with Wii Sports, which is our most solid game besides Mario Strikers Charge, which will be going into my collection. I believe I don't have this one quite yet. Also got a few fillers in here, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, but check out these two games right here. We Fit Plus oh, and Big Beach Sports. 
<laughs> not worth that much cash, but guess what? They're both sealed. Bingo. Not like a good sealed hit. They're staying with me. Pay 50 bucks for it. Should sell for around 100, 100 plus bucks. And like I said before in the video, you, you scoop something up for 50 bucks, you make 50 bucks. Now strap on your seatbelts, friends, because there's a bolo in this bundle that I want you to bury deep in your cranial cavity. FIFA 98, 007, Golden Eye, Pokemon Stadium in beautiful condition, a Minty Mario Kart 64, Super Smash Bros, 50 plus cash, Ocarina of Time, which ages yeah. like fine wine, and the bolo you're gonna wanna remember, Bread Fantastic shape, the label looks slick. When he sent me photos and this game was in it, I had to do a double take. I said, wait a minute, I haven't seen a blitz look like that before. So I looked it up and when I saw that I went for over a hundred bucks, I just about flipped the rocket. Oh, no. These Series S trades, my friends, are just getting better. Whoa, hey, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? You left me for dead on the side of the road and all you got to say is, what's up? Yeah, that, that wasn't me, dude. You got the, you got the wrong guy. <laughs> that guy. That guy was crazy, dude. Go. Uh, yeah. Get out. Yep. I'm, I'm heading out. See ya. I'm just going to squeeze by you. Ah! Stay out of here. Now, what exactly was in that GameCube bundle you're asking? Well, let's take a look. $30 on a garage sale post ass. We scooped up something legendary. Got the silver platinum GameCube console with its matching OEM platinum controller. But the game's friends are where the score prevails. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, fully complete in its entirety. Prince of Persia Warrior Within, Animal Crossing Greatest Hits, Soids Battle Legends, a solid 50 plus dollar Atari game. And finally, what caps off this GameCube lot and makes the walk home all worth it, Pokemon Coliseum. Well over a hundred bucks, sometimes hitting 200, this baby is fully there. And best of all, the disc is beautiful. And after getting this sick GameCube lot, you know I had to pick up this banging Pelican case. Which after looking it up, the Pelican 1510 case goes for over a hundred bucks. But what it does best in my opinion is encapsulate such a beautiful collection eloquently. <laughs> Video game hunting ain't dead, my friends, and if I got one tip for you, it's this. Don't leave your car unattended. Oh, no! Ah!